just cleaned my desk, what, a week and a half ago? And it's filthy again, but I'm going to ignore that today and focus on the makeup hoarding situation <laughs> that is going on over here. So, uh, I'm nervous because I don't know if I'm mentally prepared to get rid of a lot of it. So it's probably going to be put into a box or a bag and saved for a while to see if I miss anything. And then I will make a decision if I want to sell it or give it away or whatever. I pulled my chair out so I can get over here in this corner. And I got a box to put things in that I will maybe get rid of, but undecided. I took my trash can out. I emptied that. This is Halloween stuff for decorating our seasonal tree, so it just needs to be moved out of here. And these are my motivational posters that I have yet to put up. I have a massive amount of makeup brushes, all of which needs to be washed. So I'm going to just zip this up for now. And then I will take those to the sink and wash them. I have two new little perfumes that I got. So those need to go up here. I can't, I can't mentally process this one right now. Um, let's continue on here. We will start with makeup palettes. This one, Jason Wu from Target. It's mediocre. Don't mind getting rid of that. My Tarte palettes, I got these in the seasonal stuff last winter. They're good for what they are. I don't use the colors very often. So I'm going to hold on to them for now. I got them at 50% off. So other than taking up space, they're not hurting anything. My natural eyes, I used to use this every single day. So it can stay. These color pop little quads, they were in the mystery box last year. I want to say it was for fall. Don't quite remember. But I don't need to keep all of these down here. I know my daughter's probably going to want some. So I'm just going to pick the two that I love the most. And the rest can go in this box. And then I'll let my daughter go through that. Next up is lash stuff. Don't wear lashes super often. But everything in here is for lashes. Which makes sense. So... I don't think I need to move things out of here, but this is not. I think this is like a glitter glue. I don't know. Well, I haven't used it, so obviously I don't need it. <laughs> and I have a bin of headbands, which I don't use anymore when I'm putting my makeup on, so those need to go upstairs. I do use clips. And all of these clips. There we go. What's next? Oh, I have lots of lip glosses and lipsticks, and it's a whole thing. So I think these are mainly lip glosses. Yeah, I like lip oils, lip primer. These can all stay here. I don't have any issues with them staying. I do use them. Mascara and brow stuff. Mascara primer, mascara, one of each. And then I have a clear mascara that probably just needs to go in the trash. Brow setter, brow wax, those can stay. Oh, those clips are not staying flat. There we go. These are my dark lipsticks. These are 
going to be pretty easy decisions. So I know which ones I use. This is a lip gloss, lip cream. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. That's way too brown. These last few are all going to be lipsticks. These are my reds. This is really the only one I use lately. But I know as we get into fall, I will use some of the darker ones. These logos. I went on quite the hunt to find my red. <laughs> if you know anything about red lipsticks, it's hard to find the shade that's like your shade. And what do we have in here? So this is a mix of pinks and reds. This one, I don't know. <laughs> it's like orange. Uh, the Sephora matte liquid lipsticks do not come off. So if y'all are wondering, that's the way to go. Don't think I've used this in a long time. No, I have not. It's a pretty pink though. This one is more red. No, not as red as I thought. So these are like lip balms, which is nice to have if you don't want to like go all out. And then I have the, the liquid lip stains as well in here. Most of the time I'm going to go for my liquid lipsticks though, because they stay on all day, no matter what. So I have room for more lipsticks now. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Those are done. Let's put this back in there. Hopefully I don't spill anymore. I gotta find the ones that I dropped. Only one, and I went in the trash can again. And it's not cracked, so that's good. So we've got an entire box of makeup just from that. Oh, I'm going to have to turn y'all around so you can see this mess. All right, I'll keep the black one and the plum one. And these can go here. This normally lives up here with my excess of box collection and my perfume so it's just gonna stay here for a minute oh i should know better than to pick them up by the little plastic holders my coffee's getting in the way these need to be relocated Okay, this one, ColourPop Roller, no, that's not the roller one. What is this? Moon, Moon Haze. I do like at least two of the colors in there. This is the ColourPop Let's Roll. I like this one because it's colorful and I don't have a lot of colorful stuff that I actually use. Sweet Peach is a classic that I can't get rid of. I use it, but I stopped using it because there were rumors it was being discontinued, and I was like, oh, I can't not have it, but I can't live life like that, so I just need to use it more. Juvia's Place, I wanted to love. I love the bold colors, but it has more fallout than I would like for such colors because then it gets everywhere, and it's a mess to clean up, and then... I feel like they don't apply as well with my brushes as I would like. So Juvia's Place will be easy decisions. There's probably only one or two palettes that I'm going to end up keeping. Malibu Barbie. I'll be honest, I'm keeping this just for those blues. This is the Morphe 9B Vintage Rose. I don't think I need to keep this one. 
but maybe I will end up going back for it. Okay, so I have a lot of ColourPop palettes that I've like made myself, and I don't think I can get rid of them. So there are three of those. These colors I don't love, and I haven't been wearing such extremely sparkly stuff lately, so it can go in the box. It might just live upstairs for a while, and it might live upstairs permanently. Or I bet my daughter will probably use it. This is like my neutral mats, so that needs to stay. This is the shimmeries, the light shimmeries that I actually use. So I feel like I need to keep that too. Although if I have it, I normally won't challenge myself to use other things because it like covers all the bases. Walhalla 2. Can go. My ColourPop Stone Called Fox. I use this one quite frequently, as you can see by how messy it is. So we will keep that one. And the Culture palette from Juvia's Place. Oopsies. This one has a massive amount of fallout. And like I use my brush and I put it on my eye and it's all over my face and not on my eye. So that's an easy decision there. Um oh. Okay, well, I'm almost done with my palettes. So the Yep, knew that was going to happen. Oh, the universe is making decisions for me. Let's see. Oh, it was just glitters. <laughs> Two of them went in the trash can. It's empty, so that's okay. There's nothing yucky in there. Another Juvia's Place. Yeah. Another Juvia's Place. More Juvia's Place. I think the palettes were like super duper duper discounted on their website or something, and that's how I ended up with this many. Garden of Juvia. I'm going to keep because I do like it if I use my fingers and glitter primer. I can get it to stay on my eyes, but there's a lot of like pastel glitters in here. And they're really pretty. This is extremely old. This is the Alchemist Holographic Palette. It was like highlighters. It's me. Let's see. We have blushes, which I don't really use anymore. I've been using my NARS blushes, so I'm going to just put those in the box. Let's put these back over here. And I try to put these in by size because if I put them in by order of what I use the most, then I have no reason to ever reach to the back. If I've somehow managed to get this down to one little palette organizer, that would be amazing. Nope, it's close though. These glitter palettes are more for like Halloween and we are coming into Halloween. So I'm going to hold on to them, but I should probably put them like in a basket in my closet so I can just pull them out when I need to for like costumey makeup. There's some more palettes over here. That one's empty. That one's also empty. This is just for false eyelashes, although I have like two pieces in there. Oh, this big adept palette that I don't think I've really used. It's mainly for storage. Yeah, storage, duplicates, things like that. It's what I normally put my single shadows and blushes into when I want to just stash them in the closet for a while. I know makeup technically expires, but unless it's got mold growing on it, I don't really care. I spray it with alcohol every now and then to sanitize it, and I feel like that is sufficient. These pens I use for updating 
our calendar. So I'm just going to put those back up here. Like there, we have a whole empty palette organizer, but I can use it for mail. So again, there's a lot of costuming stuff. This is just like a good primer. It's the e.l.f. Cookies and Cream eyeshadow stick. And their eyeshadow wand things, liquid eyeshadows, they're pretty good too. Um, the MAC. Oh, my hands are not going to work. It's the paint pot in black. You can see I haven't touched it yet because I got it for Halloween. So we will put that in a Halloween box. My MAC Single Shadow Espresso. I love that one. And the Urban Decay Space Cowboy. It's a classic. I've used it almost up. So I'm going to let it stay so I can actually use it. And then I have a, uh, what is this brand? Notoriously Morbid. I have one of their loose shadows that I got as like a sample thing. But I've never opened it. And it's been years. So it can go. And then a little Maybelline single shadow. I think I bought it with intentions of it being matte, but it's shimmery. We have a bunch of ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I have pared down my collection a lot. And I don't think I can get rid of these. So it's kind of all that's left. Yeah. That's all that's left out of my massive collection. I had like four of these plastic organizers just full of color pops. All right, so we have cream blushes. This one can go. The Elf Putty Pots. Yeah, they, they can go. And we will keep the bright pink one. The color pop cheek do is just kind of meh just blends right away into my skin, but the ColourPop blush stick is good. I like that one. And then my Jane Iredell blush stick that I got like 90% discount on. So that's majorly pared down. Last drawer in this one is foundation. And I have a big problem with foundation because I'm sure most people have this issue, but in different colors in the summer and the winter. And then like in between, I got to mix them together, but I don't like mixing different formulations. So I have like one drawer that is summer and one drawer that is winter. Let's see. This one, LA Girl Tint, don't really care about. Found Sailor is a bit just too thick. Face tape, I have a big one in the actual color I need. Actually, this is my summer color, isn't it? No, this is too light for my winter color is the problem there. And then these Wet and Wild, the matte and dewy. I just wanted to try them because it's been years since I tried them, and I tried them again, and it went me. Um, the Misha BB Cream, I do like, but it's not good for all day wear. So if I just need to put it on for a little bit, then it can stay there. I have two that didn't fit, but now they will. Um, the Too Faced Born This Way in Swan. And then Neutrogena and Healthy Skin. I just grabbed this one because it was like easy to put on. <laughs> and it is uh, SPF 55. So that stays simply because it's mainly used as sunscreen in the summer. And then I have some plant tags over here for some unknown reason. Okay, so that whole organizer is empty. So let's get these drawers back in. I'm going to end up breaking all of these eyeshadows if I keep picking them up like that. But I don't want to take them all out and put them back in. And then, oh. Okay, so let's just put these here. All of these little plastic organizers are from Amazon, so I can link to them. If you are interested in them, they're 
good quality. I've had many over the years, and a lot of them just crack from existing, but these are still going strong. I'm just gonna, oh, I don't know. I don't want to pick them up again. Oh, all right. So this other organizer should be easier to get the drawers out. These are the foundations I use most often and I have recently sorted through them. So I know they're fine to stay. So I don't need to organize that. And we have my concealers. I have a concealer issue, just like I have a foundation issue. They all serve a different purpose. This one, um, I don't know. I like to use the found or the concealer that goes with the foundation that I'm wearing, which is why I have so many. And then I also have multiple colors because spring versus winter, so. They fit in one drawer and they're not overflowing. I'm going to let them stay. Contour and bronzer. This is like the only cream bronzer or contour I have. It's so hard to find like an actual cool toned contour. Now granted I don't contour and sculpt my face out like I used to, but it used to be really into it. And then this is a powdered contour from Amazon. And then this is a ColourPop um, darker concealer that I was using for a liquid bronzer. Um, Iconic London, I got this as a review item. One side's cream, one side's um, powder. But I don't use it because it's like somewhere between a contour and a bronzer. And I just, I don't love it. So it needs to go. This ColourPop bronzer I got because it was shimmery. And I was like, oh, shimmers. But I don't love it. I prefer my Hula bronzer. There we go. Paired those down. Oh, the NYX contour stick. I like the um, contour side, not the highlight side. So we'll just let that go. Highlighters. This color pop, I don't love. I was hoping it would be like a natural looking because it's kind of pink, but it just like it's too pink. Benefit is my favorite. JCAT. I loved before I switched to the Benefit cookie. So we'll get rid of that one. And then this is a purple highlight, which I was really into for a while, but not so much anymore. And then this is like super duper glittery thing from Amazon. Like, oh, so much glitter. I keep it just for the glitter. Because uh, there's no highlighting your face with that. It is glitter everywhere. It's better for a body glitter. We're doing good. I'm proud of myself. It helps to talk it through with someone even if you're not actually here. So this is a mixed pot kind of drawer because I ran out of drawers. <laughs> um, this is, what are you? A concealer and eye primer. So now that I've made room in my concealer drawer, I can probably put it in there. Yes, I didn't make any room, but it does fit in there. This is, um, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It says it's pore control, but it's more like a primer than a lotion or like a serum. So I don't know. It probably needs to go back in with my primers. So that will sit here to be moved. Actually, all of these are primers. This one, the ColourPop one, I don't love. The e.l.f. Putty Primer, it's good. This is just a sample though, and honestly, I prefer my Benefit Primer. Um, Smashbox Primerizer, yeah. All their primers are kind of the same, except for the pore minimizing one, which I do like, but I prefer Benefit. Ooh, look, one primer left out of all of those. I've got a lot of stuff out of the clearance bins at Walmart, so. Ignore the bright yellow stickers. 
This is, if I don't want to use my NARS blush, this is a good substitute, that orangey color. This, I do really like this color. The color pop, I use this one. As you can see, the design's almost gone. This one I do not use, it is all right. Ooh. No. <laughs> and then my two NARS, I do use those. I can, no. Thinking I could put my blushes and highlighters in the same drawer now, but that's a no-go. This is my primer <laughs> drawer, although a lot of this is kind of double duty stuff, like the BB primers from Tarte. I use as foundation, same for the Oborian. So maybe I should move those into the foundation drawer. Smashbox, color correct anti-redness is not great. The Wet n Wild Impossible Primer is good, but I prefer the Strivectin, so we'll put that one in there. Professional is my favorite primer. And this one's almost empty, but I have a backup. Let's see if I can put these in the foundation drawer. Right, then we have eye primer, another eye primer, one's better for glitter, one's just for daily wear, and then the e.l.f. Power Grip. I do like. It's way more, like, watery than I expected, but it's nice to have one that's not a silicone-based primer. And then the Fruitia fits in here nicely now. We're almost done. This is my box collection because I thought it would make a cool backdrop for the back of my makeup videos, but you can't see it anyways. <laughs> when I sit over here and I do my makeup, you see this and it's not very exciting. So all of these boxes just need to go. Then I can actually put something meaningful up here, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I'm going to have to get another box to put empty boxes in. I decided just to grab the bag that the Halloween decorations were in. Maybe if I take them out, I'll actually like put them up. Then they can just get dumped in the recycling or, well, I'll have to go through them and see if they are actually recycled. Just check in to make sure that they are all empty because sometimes I put duplicate items up here and I don't want to throw anything away. All right, and this is my body drawer and it's here for a reason, so it can stay there. Now, let's put the perfumes. Actually, I think I want to take these upstairs. That's where I feel like I used them more when they were in my closet. I have a lot of perfumes. A lot of these were sent to me for review, but like these, Victor and Roth are new. And I did purchase them with my own money. These are my most recent review items, uh, Tom Ford, Ode Wood, and Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. But this is the new one, so it's a bit more vanilla. I love both of these, by the way. Okay, continuing on. A lot of stuff up here does have purpose. I'm going to hold on to the little mini Good For You boxes because I put so many of them in the donate or giveaway or keep for later box and they haven't been used so I can gift those. Oh no. A ah, little note from my daughter. How sweet. I do have meaningful things up there as well. Like this is my deceased hedgehog Kush. He was the bestest boy ever, and he was freeze-dried to be preserved because I wanted to make sure that he got to come with us out here to Colorado. So now he lives here by my desk. And we have a lot of color pop with these that I do not use. So this is hard because, as I have said before, I collected color pop for a long time before they were like as big as they are 
and had so many excessive releases, but I'm going to put them all in here. These are still good. They're not like, you know, from the beginning of time <laughs> whoopies. I did have a lot of those, but I cleared them out because they were yucky and just basically dried out. But I think my daughter will like to have some of those. And then I can use this as a brush holder again. This is just a jar of my extra sponges, which probably does not need to be such a big jar anymore, but it serves the purpose. The little sack boy used to fit in there better. This is a backup of my Fenty Beauty powder. I used to like actually carry makeup with me and touch up, but I've found primers and stuff that make it so that I don't have to do that anymore. So this is just a backup if my big one ever runs out. Put it in the box and take it upstairs. Now, in order to deal with these things, I have to move the formula boxes and I really don't want to do that. So they are going to stay here until the formula boxes have made their way into the actual like feeding tube storage bin, but they don't all fit in there. So a problem for another day. Now this, I'm not really sure what is in here other than I brought it down here because I was like, oh, there's makeup stuff in here. I think it's all just samples. And I really don't know if I care to keep them. So let me look through this real quick and then they will probably go in the donut box too. We are almost finished over here. All that's left is my skincare, sunscreen, some tools, and then lip liners and eyeliners down there. So I don't think much really needs to change in here. Probably more so things just need to be moved around. Some of these sunscreens just need to go into the bathroom for everyone to use because I've found my favorites and that's just what they will be. <laughs> so my favorites are the aloe vera perfect sun cream and the Misha soft finish sun milk. The Pacifica C and C Sheer face serum SPF 55 was great for a while, but my rosacea flared up and now my skin is like, uh, -uh. The Supergroup un Unseen Sunscreen is good if you need that kind of primer, but it does not work for me. This needs to go upstairs. Beside the bed where it will actually be used. This needs to be moved upstairs for nighttime because it's a bit too oily for during the day. It's the Bliss Mighty Biome Pre and Post Probiotics Barrier Aid. And it is great, but a bit too oily for daytime use for me. My azaleic acid, which I could never say, Spa Sciences Lip Plump Serum. Doesn't really plump, but is a great lip oil, so I'm going to put it in the lip oil drawer. I have quite a few different creams and things here. So the Centella... Madagascar Centella Tone Brightening Capsule Ampule is an alternative to vitamin C, which is great. It doesn't irritate my skin, but I often forget to use it. And then the Peach Slices Redness Serum is also good, but I kind of forget to use it too. Bioderma Eye Cream Atula 24-7 Moisturizer, which is good, but I'm not going to pay those prices for it. Got it as a sample. I will use it until I can use it no more. More eye creams. This does not work out for my skin. So it's going to need to go. This, oh, Galactomyces from um, Elizaveka, and I would absolutely bathe in this. The Skin and Lab Triseca Common Barrier Cream or Serum, also an excellent. Um, serum. So let's see if I can just put these in here. I feel like things are getting 
jumbled. Um, another sunscreen. I didn't really try it. It's the Shido sample. These I do enjoy for um, setting sprays. This, I don't use it too terribly much because it's sticky, but it's a good reapplication of sunscreen, SPF 45. And then, oh, oh no, the NYX, bear with me. It's supposed to be a setting spray. I think it works better for me as like a priming spray. So I'll use it if I'm putting on my foundation and like I get distracted by something and I need to come back and like add more foundation, it's a good in-between step there. The Redness Relief um, Moisturizer, it's all right. I'm just trying to use it up. It's not my favorite. And then I have some Pixi eye, what are they eye patches, but like the little under eye mask. I like them occasionally, but I don't use them as much as I thought I would. I'm not like pampering <laughs> enough. <laughs> not that they aren't pampering. I don't pamper myself enough. And then I just have sponges and whatnot in there. This one just needs to go in here. This is um, Goof Proof Eyebrow uh, Pencil from Benefit, which is anything but Goof Proof. It does not work for me. I make a big old mess. This is like um, eyebrow, not eyebrow, <laughs> eyeshadow, little disposable brushes and such. And what do I have in here? These need to go upstairs. This needs to go upstairs too. Crepe Erase Body Firm. I haven't really used those enough to like have a true opinion of them. This is the alcohol I used to spray on my makeup. And then some sharpeners over here. This is a mess down here because it's a mix of makeup stuff and work stuff. And some random medicines that I've tossed down here for some reason. Those need to go into the appropriate place. Some trash. Other Q-tip, oh, that one's been used, it's got makeup on it. This is my artsy, like face art stuff kind of brushes. This needs to go to someone who will actually use it because I've had it for a long time and I don't know if these are even dried up. And I have glasses cleaner, which is not what's supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be my brush cleaner. And now I'm wondering where the brush cleaner is because it's not there. All right, it was beside my computer. I have two different ones. And honestly, neither one of them are great. But we will go with this one. We'll just put this one in here for use later. This I'm going to need. This is my brush drying rack. So I'm going to need that when I go to wash up all these brushes. These lip liners and eyeliners I do use. And we have some overflow storage back here. Don't see any issue with leaving that there. This is too dark. And then I have some extra powders, oh, more powder. Okay, so I guess this is just like extra face powders that I'm not currently using, but I do use them on occasion. Most of the time I just use my Fenty setting powders rather than an actual face powder, but there are times where I will use a face powder over a moisturizer and just call it good. Then we have my Gimme Brow, which I use most frequently. Okay, I know what these are now. Stamps and liquid liners, which I don't use too terribly much because I tend to have very watery eyes and I make a giant mess. 
So I'm going to put these up with the costume makeup. That's why eye drops. I'm going to put that back in there. And then there's a random bag for some reason. So we will stash that away because I have to pay for those now here. And then this is all just notebooks. Stuff for work, stuff for like just personal journaling things. So they all have a purpose. And then my arthritis gloves that I use all the time in the winter. And then this seems to be a random stick, but I created this little hanger thing from a branch, not really a branch, more of a stick, that I found when we moved out here and I put these little um, push pins on it. They used to go all the way across and I would hang Christmas uh, pictures on them around the Christmas tree. So yeah, serves a purpose. It serves a purpose, but not anything that needs to just be out all the time. This is like a, an old iPad. So I'm gonna say that is sufficient. This needs to go in the makeup brush bag so it can be washed. And then all of these need to go in the bathroom so other people can use them for sunscreen. And then my headband needs to go upstairs so I don't use it down here anymore. And then this is just a washcloth that I use to dry out my sponges so I don't make a big mess. This necklace needs to go upstairs as well. Now it looks so empty. <laughs> I'm going to have to redecorate things. So that'll be fun. All right, let's put these things away and then we'll do like one more once over. These things are going to have to go in recycling or trash. Just set those outside my area right now. And look at this big old box. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Granted, it's not all going to instantly go away. Some of it needs to be stored upstairs in either my skincare stuff or in like my costume makeup. But the majority of it is going to go to someone that is not me. Either my daughter can go through it and pick what she wants or if her friends want to go through it. And then I'll probably just put the rest of it on uh, the local Buy Nothing group and someone will love to have all of this. And now I have space to put things in a more organized fashion. That works a little bit better for me. I have a whole empty palette organizer that I'm probably going to give to my daughter because she has a lot of makeup too. Not to my extent, but she does have a lot of makeup. And then this is school stuff that needs to be filed in here, which again, I can't do right now. And then my basket of receipts. Oh, I believe there is face paint. Oh, and some backup. Okay. But yes, space fights. Put those in the, the um, box as well to go upstairs. And then, let's see. I should probably do better about my extras. <laughs> Um, these were, Ulta had the buy one, get one free on the minis there for a while. They ran it a few times. I was looking to see if there's like expiration dates on any of this stuff, like on the outside, but it just says 12 months from open. So that's good. And it means it's not going to be an issue. So I will keep this one down here because my mini is almost empty. And then these two minis I'll put upstairs and my extras backups. Oh, <laughs> my self-tanning lotion that I have to put on my legs because they are like extra, extra ghostly white and they look like I'm wearing white tights. So this goes on my nail cart. We'll tackle the nail cart another day. That's not going to happen today. I'm getting tired and I need to do dinner. But I had to work today, so things had to be rearranged. 
as in time-wise. I also need to charge some of the things, like my headphones that I use during the week for work. And I need to pull videos off my phone, which is what this gadget is for. I need to edit videos on my phone. I'm still working on my closet clean out video. And I think I just need to wrap it up today and call it done. Meds, Sunday, meds, Saturday goes back up. Just going to tidy this enough to make it manageable for the rest of the week. I'll probably work on this more later. Uh, this needs to go in the proper bin. Keys in the first. This needs to go in the proper storage space. It kind of sucks having all these formula boxes in the house, but I made it work. I gave them a job. Trash. I think I'm done. Oh, this needs to go back up here. I've got to wash all those brushes, but I am not going to subject y'all to that. I will let them soak while I make dinner. And the stuff will go to those proper homes. That goes on my phone, which is <laughs> recording right now. So these things will go up. And yes, this is crooked and messed up because I did not pay attention to my calendars not being the same whole space. And I used to have the big dry erase one here. And I just didn't want big holes in the wall, so I left it. I want to redo, like, the wall decor over here. Some of it, anyways. Or, like, rearrange it. But I hate having holes in the walls. And I don't want to putty these walls because they're textured. And I hate it. <laughs> so, anyways. It's clean. It's organized. I'm happy. I did a major makeup declutter. And I'm proud of myself for that. Give myself a pat on the back. Good job. Good job. And I can start my week out fresh with using the makeup that I actually want to use. With clean brushes, because I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs>